Okay, guys, I want to do a real quick update. Um, today is November 7th, I believe, the day before the election. And, of course, the news came out yesterday about the FBI investigation. And look what happened to IV rank. So, take a look. See what we said? Uh, 45 days ago was about, in the SPY, we did this one. So, let me show you what this looks like. Whoops. Oh, crap. Take that off. Here we go. So if you were going to sell an option using right here, we would have done December 16th right here because so basically what? What is that? Six days ago. And you would have sold one standard deviation out of the money. So check it out. Well, wait, actually, dough is easier. Let me go back to dough. All right. So go like this. You can go like this. I already have it pre set up. And it would have been, well, now you can do the weekly, but let's change the expiration date. Here, this is the one you would have done. Let me zoom in real quick. And yeah. So, one standard deviation away, right? Here's your standard golden gecko. Um, well, actually, no, this is like a, what I want to do with this to collect more money. But look what happened to IV rank. It's now at 45. We've got... Look at the chart. Okay, remember, look how high it got. I'm zoom in. So six days ago, one, two, three, four, right around here. All right. So, okay. Look at IV rank started climbing. It hit fifty, right? For I remember talking it was like forty nine or something like that, and then it climbed, right? Higher, higher, and we talked about what would happen right after the election came out because I didn't. No one knows which way is gonna go, but I do know this. IV rank will collapse. Well, it looks like the market is thinking that if Hillary is going to win, the market will go higher and, of course, IV rank will collapse. Now, remember over here, compact one, two, three, four, five. If you were selling one standard deviation out of the money puts, that would have been something like, I don't know, the one, the 200 or something. And people, that's this is one standard deviation now. Back then, I forgot what it was. Um, it doesn't matter. It, this gray area is still the expected move in 39 days. Okay. But if you're selling it just for the election, remember how we talked about doing this? Reducing your expiration time to like, uh, it should be done like right here. Oh, yeah, you can even do this one. This expires. This expires on Friday. So look, here's the range. I'll zoom in. This brown area right here. Is what the math says the expected move of the market is um, by Friday okay so if you sell this even right now wait, hold on let me clear let me clear this and I'll just do a put real quick do a short put oh no I'll just crap oh that's okay repetition the mother all learning you guys will see this expiration date Drop it down to uh, four days. Oh, too much. Well, this inspires in two days, which you don't want to do. Let's just do this one at least, and then we'll bring the strikes in by doing this. Okay, so one standard deviation be right around here. You can adjust it to about 84, 85%. So you can see it's well outside the expected range. And bring this into two, two cent, kind of like this. Okay, look, you can still collect 63 cents. Here's your probably of making some money. If you want to be more aggressive, you can collect. But my main, you can move it in to collect more money by doing something like this. Right outside this brown area, you can still click over a dollar. And uh, if, as long as the market stays within this range by Friday, you make money. Okay. If you're doing standard 45 days to expiration, you're going to be able to see right here how you can pretty much, you're going to be able to take it off for a nice profit. So remember, like I said, whatever comes first, 50% of your max profit or 21 days to expiration, or if you're scalping, if, you, if you're making 25% of your max profit, take off the trade. So remember how fast. Now, here's what could have happened. Ivy Rank could have, look, Ivy Rank got as high as 64, okay? So you could have even added more money. And sure enough, look. Now, if you added more money here, that means you add, and you sort of even only a one standard deviation on one penny, you're betting the market will stay above somewhere like around two, 204 down here even. 
stay above this. And so, of course, you're going to be making your money. This is what I mean by you got to take your shots when the cards are stacked in your favor. When the arithmetic and the math is stacked in your favor, that's when you play. Sorry, I'm doing this real quick. I'm, my thing is blowing up. I got people calling me, um, and I'm helping out. Um, some other people want some emails and some private messages, but I did want to lay this out publicly for, you know, just for the new guys to follow along. So when you have your opportunity, take your shot and you can go back to my past videos and see what I'm talking about or hit me up on my email and I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. Um, please don't get mad if I don't reply quickly. I, you know, I do get slammed a, a, a bunch. So with that and everything else, it, sometimes it takes me a while, but I will try my best. All right. So, is it safe to put in a trade st still yet today? There is, it's just not as profitable. I mean, it's just not as ripe, okay? But, Ivy, you can see, like, let's say the week after, you could sell today, and Ivy rank could still collapse all the way down here, and if you're right in direction and Ivy rank collapse, you're still going to make money, which is why I wanted to show you this. All right, so, oh, Mark, I don't want to do it. You know, what if I'm wrong and it spikes freaking above this and you're going to be out some money and then it, it expires in four days. So if you want to give yourself more safety, then do a standard. Go like this. Do your, go for your golden gecko. Uh, you want to take off the weekly, though. It's going to pick whatever's closest to 45 days from now. Okay, And right now, that's going to be the December 16th expiration. It's the same one. It's 39 days away. All right, and you could sell this right here. Um, these are these are five strikes wide, meaning the price. Look, I'll click on this. See, this is the 199 put, and you're buying the 194 put. Now, watch when I click this. Watch up here, okay? See that number five? That that means it's five dollars or five strikes wide. Usually five strikes wide apart, it gives you your highest return on capital for your money. So if you have a smaller account, this is kind of what you want to do. Now if you have, and if you have an IRA, this is kind of what you're forced to do. Now if you have a lot of money in your IRA account or more money, you can, you can make this look like it's naked. What I mean is it'll, see what you're doing is you're, this green area is where you're going to make money. If this stock lands in between here and here, you're going to lose money. Because it's kind of like a no man's land. If the market shoots all the way down below this, this makes money, this loses money, right? Um, this loses money, this makes money. So you don't really got to do much. But if you want to make it more naked, what you want to do is you want to move this to this two standard deviation line right around here. Probably out of in the money by 2% like this. Kind of like where this blue standard deviation line is right here. You can, see you can, you can collect a lot more money. So again, this brown shaded area right here is what the, the market's expected move is. Okay, you're selling way outside of that. So if it stays anywhere in here in this green shaded area, like I said, you're gonna make money. Anywhere if it falls in the red, you're gonna lose money. Okay. Here's the thing: election happens tomorrow at midnight. Blah blah blah. Whatever happens, happens. The market let's say there's a big extreme move and it's going against you because it's outside of one of these ranges. Now at least what you have, you have 39 days to to manage it. Meaning it could spike down a week and it could come back up. So yeah, that's called duration. You you'll hear people talk about duration over direction. You could be wrong. You could be wrong direction wise and still make money. Plus IV rank will collapse. If that doesn't happen, you can roll it. You can actually move this position out to a further expiration date to give you more time for your pick for your bet so to speak to be right and then you still make money as long as that's called rolling as long as you roll for a credit meaning if this is a credit and you're not paying for it you'll be all right I'll cover that more later I cover that in detail in private because it, it takes a while because you gotta actually see it to see how it goes all right I gotta run any questions give me a call back but in the meantime today um, you, if you want to put on trades go for it maybe go towards the end of the towards the end of the day um, I'm thinking volatility should rise a little bit, but um, who, you know what do I know, right? Oh wait, IWM. Check out IWM. IWM is cheaper, right? But look what happened to vol collapse in IWM. This is sick, right? Six. Look what happened. In IWM just climbed, right? Look at this. Fifty here got as high as I don't know sixty something over here, and then 
boom, today it'll, it collapsed and it, it just, just shot up like 2% in one day, 2.5% in one day. So of course, if you sold, if you did um, for, um, okay, now I got to disclaim this. What I just showed you, I don't trade. I trade a little bit differently. Um, to me, I, I protect myself from any black swan events. Um, that's the stuff I share with privately. But even if you did just what I taught you, this, this free stuff, it works. I mean, but you got to understand this basic stuff before you can do anything more advanced, which is why I kind of throw this out there for free because I just want you guys to play with it and, and, and soak it in. And it's not hard. Okay, it's not hard at all. Anyone tries to tell you that, it's just not. All right, it's simple, it's just arithmetic. And once you grasp a simple concept, everything else is just a, a play on the same thing. So uh, don't be intimidated by it. Shoot me an email. I'll, I'll call you if you want, just to walk you through some basic stuff, or you know what I mean, or at least through email. I just want you guys to be competent because competence breeds confidence, and that breeds results. And then you start making money. All right. Have a great week. Um, I'll try and update tomorrow as well. Um, have fun with this because this is great. You can take advantage of this vol collapse, especially if vol volatility collapsed from 41 down to where it was here. Look at that. You still make money. Okay, that's IWM. Um, I like doing the ETFs because, like I said, um, I don't have to worry about earnings and whatnot. Okay, that's just unbelievable. All right, again, signing off. Talk to you guys later.